Hello, my name is Duane Escobedo, and I am here with Dr. Jordan Moon. Uh, Dr. Moon is the head of sports, fitness, and health at the United States Sports Academy. And Dr. Moon, we're here to talk about the King Devic test and its use in assessing concussions in athletes. Tell us a little bit, what is it and how is it used? Well, the King Devic test is actually an old exam. Uh, it's a 25-year-old test that they've been using in clinics to look at cicada eye movement and to see if people have any problems reading. Uh, and some places actually use it as an eye exam, whether or not someone is actually has eye problems. And what we're finding is that cicada eye movement changes when you have some uh, brain trauma. And it's a very high correlation. So brain trauma, obviously, is a concussion, uh, is re tightly related to that cicada eye movement. And the exam is quite easy to do. It's, it's like looking at a flashcard, you're reading numbers left to right, top to bottom, just like if you're reading normal text. And uh, it progressively gets harder mm -hmm. to read these numbers. So it's reading numbers in a sequence that get harder and how well your eyes can move and how well you can actually figure out what number it is uh, that you're seeing. Mm -hmm. So in and, and that test, how do we know if an athlete you know, has an episode? Well, what the research is showing is, uh, specifically out of the University of Pennsylvania, they looked at MMA fighters, and they found that if you compared that, the pretest, which is in a, a normal environment before any competition, and you do it on the sideline, those that had actually been knocked out had a, an 18 second increase in time it took to actually go through that test. And the other ones that had brain trauma and weren't knocked out showed about an 11 second increase in time. What they came up with based on all of this, all of the values and all the research is there's about a five second threshold. So if it takes you five seconds longer than it did from when you first took the test, there's a good chance that you've had some sort of brain trauma. And, and what are some of the advantages of this King Devic test? Um, we know there's other tests out there, but what are some of the advantages of this test? Uh, the biggest advantage of this test is it's simple, easy to do, pretty much anybody can do it, and it's quick. Some of these other tests out there take much longer time, but the King Devic test is something you can put on a PDA. You can put it in your phone, an iPad. You can bring cards out, put them in your pocket. It's something that can be done really easily. Um, there are some concerns with it because it is just a vision test, and you can't guarantee that that test is going to identify everybody that, who's had brain trauma. So. If they do bad on the test and they've had and they've actually had brain trauma, then that test ac accurately, you know, found that person that had brain trauma. But there could be other people that do the same on the test who have had brain trauma, and that's because there's other other issues related to uh, brain injuries and concussions other than just cicada eye movement and uh, visual impairment, such as balance, coordination, uh, orientation memory, short-term, long-term memory, uh, being able to concentrate, and some of these other tests uh, look at those. So tell us, you know, does this test have promise if, the, if you're out there and you're, you know, trying to assess your athletes? Um, is this something you should be using? Well, it's definitely a new tool. Uh, it's actually an old tool that's being used in a new way to to identify whether someone's had a brain brain trauma or had a concussion, and it's not as comprehensive as the other tests out there, like the impact test, the best test, uh, SAC. These are more comprehensive. But look at those other items that I was talking about related to brain injury. But the uh, the King Devic test is an eye exam essentially on the sideline that you can do immediately, and it is showing promise. So there is more research that needs to be done. They need to look at reliability over time. Does it does your baseline change throughout a season? They haven't done really any studies in youth, and that's a big area that they need to do more research. So basically hang tight and and we'll see what happens, but it's showing some promise now. So I don't think coaches are gonna run out and use it right away, but it's definitely something that, that's showing a lot of, uh, of progress. And the University of Pennsylvania is doing a lot of research on this, so it is definitely something that you may be seeing a lot more of in the future. Thank you, Dr. Jordan.